Good morning, Internet. This is Alex the Sudokus. And it is Saturday, the 6th of November, 2021. Sorry about the feedback. And we have another New York Times hard Sudoku for us today, which we will, we will attempt to solve using Snyder notations. Afterwards, we are going to have a look at the genuine accessible Sudoku on the Kraken Cryptic server today or yesterday. Anyway, let's have a look. We're going to start with some ones. Got a pair of ones there. Ones, twos. Two, two, two. Got a pair of twos there. So all we're doing to start with is basically scanning the grid from one to nine and seeing where the numbers can and can't go, basically. Um, okay, so I think all the twos are scanned. Threes, three, 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 four. Got a pair of fours there, which means this is a four. And this is also a four because I've got a force blocking these two rows and a four blocking the column. So more fours. So I think all the fours are now in place. Moving on to the fives, we have a pair of fives here. Five, 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 pointing pair of fives there. <clears throat> so pointing five is basically a concept that when you have a number that are locked in two positions or basically two or three positions um, in a box and if they're pointing in a particular direction, if they're lined it up, if, it, if they're lined up on a row, basically means there's no more of that number on that row anymore. So as an example, this five, um, if I have any fives in either of these two cells on row three, there'd be no place for the five in this box, which is impossible. So that is a brief introduction to um, pointing pairs. So what more can I do about the fives? Not nothing that I can see. So moving on to the sixes, got another pointing pair of sixes there. So that locks the six at the bottom. And I think I saw the sixes, sevens. Got pair of sevens there, pair of sevens there again, forming a pointing pair. Seven, seven, seven. I think that's all there is about the seven. Moving on to the eight. We've got an eight here, creating a pointing pair. Locking the eight in place on row two. Pair of eights down here. Pair of eight down here. And I think that's it for the eight. Nines. Nine, nine, nine. Pointing pair of nines there. Locking the nines in place there. Okay, but we can't put any more nines in place. So. We've done a first pass. What have we learned? What have we learned? Um, I don't think there's anything really special going on, but I do see a pair of threes now in these two cells, since there are only four numbers left. In fact, I missed the three at the start. The three was there at the start. And this is kind of interesting. So the threes are locked on rows eight and nine in this box, but the three can only go on rows eight or nine in this box as well. So basically rows eight and nine are taken for the three by these two boxes. So there must be a three on row seven somewhere, except they're not on boxes seven and eight. So the three must be here with column seven blocked. So that unlocks another three. And I think now we've lock unlocked ourselves the um, seven, eight, and nine. So when I place this this three, I've elim eliminated one of the two nines, which is part of the Snyder notation approach, um, where if you see two possible candidates in a cell, you pencil mark them in. If you see more than two candidates, you leave it alone. If you see less than two candidates, well, you solved the number already. And that's where we're at, basically. Anyway, um, where was I going with this? I forget. Um, oh yeah. So when, when it comes to filling in numbers, I very quickly, by placing a three, I've eliminated one of the possible nines and that allowed me to resolve the nine basically and so on for the seven and the eight. So what does the nine do? Mm, not much really. What about a seven? Seven doesn't do anything either. Okay.
Oh, that was a sneeze. So, let me... Another sneeze. Let me hit the bingo square. Where's the Alexia sneezes? There it is. Okay. Let's carry on. Um, can't see... Oh, I can see a pair of eights over here now. Thanks to this eight and the eight. So that unlocks the eight at the bottom. Again, the like notation rule helped us solve the six as well. And now we have a six over here because row four and six are taken so that unlocks the seven and eight and i've got another pair Ooh, another pair of sixes up top good morning Ari. how are you today how are you this fine morning <coughs> i'm one year older today happy birthday how does it feel to age a whole year overnight must be quite traumatic must be quite a traumatic experience I hate it when that happens. Um, this is two, six, and seven. Two, seven, and six. Well, I've got six and seven here, so this must be a two. And I've got a seven remaining. So I hope your bones don't hurt too much from the aging process. But time does not go too, go too quickly. Yesterday, I was actually hoping that the day would go slow, but it didn't. Um, on this row, I'm missing a one and a nine, and I've got nine there, so... <clears throat> I know where the one and the nine goes. So that means I've got another nine down here. But I just, oh no, hold on, I've already got a nine. Being daft. Being daft. There is a nine here though, because of this nine and that nine. I've just seen a minute of five, so I can place that in place. And this is a two. And what have I got left on this column? It's a seven. So this seven eliminates a seven over there. Unlocking another seven. Unlocking a pair of sevens over there. <clears throat> What are these? These are ones and fives. That's annoying. So one and five can go in these two cells. Um, can I do anything but a five? I don't think I can. No, I can't do anything but a five yet. So I'm gonna scan the bottom row. So what I'm doing now is technically scanning the weak areas. Um, just looking at any dimensions that doesn't have many remaining cells to solve. So I've got one, three, and five on this row. I've got five in these two cells, overseeing these two cells. So I know the five goes there. So these are ones and threes. Okay, that's not as helpful as I hoped. <coughs> hmm. oh, I spilled water before I went to bed last night and I can feel the water on my mouse mat. I hate it. So even though that wasn't in reference to Sudoku, I did say I hate it. So let's take that off. Oh, why is my mouse gesture not working? Probably because I disabled it. Turn it back on. There we go. Ah, much better. Okay, we have a pair of ones and something over here. Ones and eights. Okay, let's pencil mark those in. And these are fives and twos. Also can't be resolved. Damn you, Obama. Um, so, what else can I do? Hmm. Uh, one, two, five, and eight. I've got two and five. I haven't got one and eight. Much to my disappointment. Five, six, and one. I've got a six. And that's obviously one and five. Huh. We haven't actually solved this puzzle yet. I thought we were so close. We must be there. But uh, let's pencil mark in some more numbers. I've got some nines over here. So I'm doing another scan, doing a second scan of the grid to see if I can find anything. Ones, twos, two, 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 threes, threes, threes at the bottom here, threes at the bottom here. Technically makes the next wing, but it doesn't do anything. Fours are solved. Five. Fives are here. Five pointing. Oh, this five actually has solved the five and two. Should have seen that coming. So that solves the two and the eight, which means the eights are in these two cells okay anything over here nothing nothing else on the eights still disappointing okay why don't i pencil mark in the pair of twos up top now now that i can pencil mark them in and um, what are these these are ones and nines 
Okay, so the locks are one down here, solves a seven, two, and five, which means this is a six. So that solves a six and a seven. Um, the one and nine doesn't solve yet, but I've got one, three, nine, triple on this column. Oh, two and three. So whenever you have the two remaining cells in the same box on the same column or row, and you see pencil markings, if you have been doing Snyder notation and you see pencil markings like this, basically it means this can't be a two. So I've only got two and three left on this column. So two and three are resolved. That leaves me one, five and six. Well, this must be a five. Oh, <clears throat> oh no, five, six and one. And that's also one and a five. And that's also one, three, nine and eight over here. Eight and one are resolved. Nine and one are solved, and that's today's New York Times Hard Sudoku using Snyder notations. So I hope you find it useful. Um, but before we move on, before we move on, let's have a look at today's genuine accessible Sudoku and see what we've got. Show me what you've got. Let's see. Normal Sudoku rules apply additionally for each of the grey lines in a, in a grid. Either all the digits on it are odd or all of them are even. So that's the same as yesterday's, but a bit different. It's the same, but it's different. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did yesterday. Now that I've formulated a plan, I am going to... Oh, okay. That's probably a good start. 4, 6, 2, 8 are already locked in. Um, but yeah, let's still, let's still colour in all the odd and even numbers. So, these are odd, so we're going to make them, what did we make them yesterday? What's that from? Same but different. I don't know. Um, this puzzle is from the Cracking the Cryptic um, Discord server. Um, if that's what you meant, or um, did you mean you Google it? Wait, what? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, tell me more. Okay, we know these can't be even numbers because we've got we've already got two even numbers on that, so we know this is an odd job. Same here. These must be odd because I've got four and eights there. Okay, so with that in mind, what more can we say? We know that these are now even, so that means all of these are even. Haha. Uh -huh. So. Oh, pardon me. Um, so at least we've deduced which pipe, which line is odd and which line is even. Um, it doesn't say they have to be, yeah, they can't be all unique because we've got six on this line. So yeah, there are no unique restrictions on them. Um, okay, so I think we can pretty much um, deduce that these are odd numbers because we've got four even numbers on the row and the column, five. Um, so we've got four even numbers on that column. So same deduction on these rows. So these are all the odd numbers. And we're just left with, well, the corner cells must be even because the boxes all have three even numbers so far. But we have these two cells, two cells in these four boxes where we don't know whether whether they are to even. Okay, but we can we can get it. We can make a start. I'm pretty sure. So twos can't go in any of these cells. Uh, two and six. So that's four. Ooh, these are fours and eights. Let's do it. Um, these are twos and six. We may as well do it that way. Um, these are six and eight. Um, what would the equivalent be over here? These are twos and fours. Okay. It's a bit disappointing, I have to say. Um, I've got three, seven, five, so that's one and nine. Wow, that's really annoying. I can't actually solve. Oh my god. Three and five. Uh, one, seven, three. Oh, three and five. One, seven, one, seven, nine on these. So these are threes and fives. That means there has to be a seven. Good start. Good start. So we should have something similar going on here. Yeah, we've got the ones there. So these must be five and nine, right? Yeah, these are five and nines solving the one in here. 
it. And if I look at here, oh, it doesn't have the same anymore. It only happens in these two boxes. Okay, but that should be fine. Gives me a one here. Uh, one is in either of those two cells. One, one, one. One's in either one, either one of those cells. Nines are pointed here. Um, nines in one of these cells. Oh. Um, nine of restrictions over here, but nines are also locked in one of these cells. So there must be a nine on this column. So we can pencil mark that in. Um, hmm. This is not very pog. On a scale of pog to pog, this is not pog. Okay, so pointing pair threes. So, comma one three nine triple. Threes. Threes. Oh, this is three and nine. Brilliant. So the three and the nine a lot can only be in these two cells. Because of that. So brilliant. We just worked out this is an odd number. And this is a triple of one, five, and seven. So that must be a five because I've got one and seven already, which means these are ones and sevens. Okay. Does that do anything for us? Um, have we got the same thing going on here? Yeah, these are ones and sevens. Okay. So that's another odd number, and these two are even numbers. Shibu. We should be well on our way then. Oh, that was some machine gun sneezes there. At least by my standard. Um, these are three, five, and nine. I've got three and nine there, so that's a five. So these are threes and nines. Um, anything else? Oh, I'm really thirsty. Um, seven, seven, seven. So these are seven and nine. Okay, and this must be a three now, because one and five are in place as well. So these are one, one and five. Can we restrict the five? No, we can't. Yes, we can. Fives are now locked in these two cells, so three and five are resolved. And five and nine are resolved over here. So I've got nine over there, which means nine is resolved. One and three are here, which means seven and one are resolved. One and seven are resolved. Anything else? So we still don't know which one is the odd number there. But that's okay. Um, five. Five, so one of these two cells, which means that's a five. Um, what else am I missing? Seven. Um, seven must be here then. Because, yeah. Because seven can't go there. So, we just solve the seven. That unlocks the seven and nine. And, oh, this can't be a 9 anyway. So we've got 5, 1, and 9 resolved over here. What does that do for us? So it's a 1, the 5, so that must be the odd number, and these must be the even numbers. Wee-hee! So I think it's just mop-up time. So mop-up on column, I don't know. Up up on column three, column two. So I got a three here, so that leaves me a seven on this column. Um, three and nine, three. I'm up on on row eight, so three and nine. Okay, so all the odd numbers are placed as tackle the even numbers. Then, what do we have to tackle the even numbers? It's the question. Well, eight can't go in these two cells or that cell, so we've got an eight. <clears throat> Two and four can't be resolved yet. Uh, can we can we solve the eight? I don't think we can. Let's see where all the eights are. Got an eight over there. Yeah, it's still not quite there yet. What about the twos? How are we doing with the twos? Got two there, which unlocks a two down here and a six. No, not necessarily that two, but definitely the six, because the two can still go down there. Dangerous territory. Six. Uh, so there's a pair of sixes up top. Okay, so these are now twos and fours, right? Damn. Whoop. Two four, not two five. And these are also twos and fours, so that's solved because of that four. 
Um, so these are six and eight. Not resolvable just yet. Annoying. Uh, these are also twos and fours, which are resolved because it's two. So we can probably just follow the twos. So follow the money. Uh, follow the four. Damn it. Well, we can solve the eight here and the six because I've only got six and eight left. Uh, this is pointing pair of eights. So that's an eight. That's a six. That's a six. So this is a four, which means this is an eight. So that solves the two and the eight. Okay. Um, this must be a four. So two solves a two and four. Um, these are fours and eights. God damn it. Still not solvable. I hate it. But this must solve it. Yep. Eight, eight, four, four, six, six, and two. And that's today's genuine accessible Sudoku. So I hope you guys find it useful. If you did, please leave a like below. And if you didn't, by all means, leave a comment below if I've missed a really glaringly obvious way of solving today's genuine accessible Sudoku. And uh, I hope you are well. And um, I will be a bit late tomorrow. I suppose these are more for my Twitch friends. Um, I am. Um, yeah, I'm at my in-laws tomorrow morning. So I can't I can't stream at the same time because it risks waking everybody up and we don't want that. So I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time I'm going to stream, but I will try and stream at some point when everybody everybody's awake with um, I'm taking my USB microphone. So hopefully it, I will sound OK. Anyway, goodbye, YouTube. I shall see you later.